Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this video we're continuing to create the waiting queue in Battle Royale Tycoon. We're going to add some events to our queue so we can later notify the building when a guest is waiting in front. Let's get started. So in the previous video we created the waiting queue in here, we have an entrance position and five queue positions. I have two buttons in here, one to add guests to the queue, that when I click on it, a guest will come into the entrance position and move towards his own position on the queue. And I have a get guest button that sends the guest waiting in front away. When I have multiple guests in my queue and I get the first one, the others get repositioned in front. Okay, good. The game is still in development, so if you like the concept, go to the Steam page, add to your wish list and follow. All right, so before we can create the building logic, we need to add some events to our queue, something that will notify the building that a guest is ready to enter. So first of all, let's make it automatic to have the guests enter the queue. Here in our game handler, let's first comment out the add guest button, and let's make it automatic by creating a function periodic, which is part of the code monkey.utils, which is always you can grab for free from unitycodemonkey.com. I'm going to go in here and create a function periodic. A function periodic is just a function which is triggered after some time. So this action will be executed every second. And here let's put the code that we had on our button. So essentially now we no longer need to click the button automatically every second it will check if it can add a guest to the queue. It will grab a guest that is idle and add it to the queue. Now let's go into the CM debug class and create a text pop-up saying add guest on a position there on the side. So this way we can easily visualize when this function is triggered and when a guest is added to the queue. Okay, so let's test and we should see the guests automatically enter and see pop-ups when one is added. Okay, here I am, and as you can see, the events are firing. The guests are being added automatically. There's the first one, second, third, and so on. And I can grab one, and then it fires again. Okay, so every time I grab a guest, he automatically adds. Okay, good. Okay, so in order to have our building request guests, we need to be notified when a guest reaches the front of the queue. Let's make that using an event. We're going to go into our waiting queue, and up here, I'm going to create a public event event handler which is part of the system namespace public event event handler and call it on guest arrive at front of queue this will be triggered when a guest arrives at the front of the queue of course so in here when i'm moving my guests the move to function has an action which is triggered when they arrive at their position so when the guests arrive at their position let's call a function and name it guest arrive at queue position and it will receive this guest as a parameter. So this is the action that will trigger when the guest arrives at that position. Now for this function, let's go up here, make a private void, and it's going to receive a guest object. And we're going to trigger the same thing down here when relocating all of our guests. Okay, so now I have this function being called every time a guest arrives at a certain position. Now we have to figure out if that position is the one in front. So as we know from up here, the guest list, the index in this list is the same as the position list. So if the guest is at guest list zero, then we know he arrived at the first position. So if the guest equals guest list of zero, so if this guest is the guest that is in front, then that means the guest in front has reached the front of the queue. So let's trigger our event. Go up here and it's the on guest arrived. So if the event is not null, so if we have subscribers to this event, we're going to trigger the event with event empty. And in here, we need to actually store a reference to our guest, guest list i, and that's what we're going to use to send him to move and to send the reference. Okay, so every time we move our guest, we are triggering this function when the guest arrives at his target position. Then here we're testing if the guest that arrived at his position is the first guest. If it is, then he arrives at the front of the queue and we fire our event. Now let's go back into our game handler and we're going to subscribe to this event. So go into the waiting queue to the on guest arrived at the front of the queue and let's subscribe to this event. In here, in order to visualize the event, let's spawn a pop-up like we did up here. 
make it say on guest arrived okay yeah exactly put it somewhere on the right side okay so now our guests should be automatically entering the queue moving between the queue when they arrive at the front of the queue it should fire this function all right so here's my queue automatically getting guests added let's let them arrive and when he arrives he triggers on guest arrived at the front as you can see the others don't trigger the event when they arrive at their position now if i grab this one this one will move the other one will move forward and fire the event again there he goes he went away boom there you go okay great all right now that the event is correctly firing let's make it automatic to send the guest when the event is fired so in the game handler let's comment out this button and make it automatic so when the guest arrives at front of the queue we're going to trigger the same thing that we were doing on the button we need a member reference to our waiting queue and we're going to send them to the right side so at 280 and 740 plus 500 okay so now he should automatically send the guest away in order to make this easier to visualize let's send him away only after some time so he doesn't get sent away immediately as soon as he arrives in there so i'm going to create a function timer create a new function and it will trigger this function after let's say one second so when the event is fired one second later he will actually grab the first guest in the queue and send them to the right so let's test it and see if our behavior is working correctly all right here's my queue automatically adding the guests and when they arrive he triggers on guest arrive and he moves forward after one second now let's also add an event for when the guest is added to the queue into our waiting queue and let's add another public event event handler and say on guest added now this is going to be a very simple event simply in here when we add our guest if we have subscribers to the event let's trigger it so back in our game handler let's spawn this pop-up right here in the event rather than directly through that function so on guest added let's create a function for that event and it's going to trigger this so as you can see in here by using events we have decoupled this code from anything else we are executing in the game handler but it doesn't have to you could have a separate object deciding when to add the guests and then another one deciding what to do when they arrive at the front of the queue and another one doing something when they get added to the queue this way everything is nice and clean so let's test and make sure that our event is still being fired then the add guest pop-up is still showing up all right there you have it guests are being added to the queue and when they arrive in front they trigger the other event and move away automatically this is what we're going to use to set up the building logic in the next video again the game is still in development so if you like the concept go to the steam page and add it to your wish list and follow as always you can download the project files and utilities from unitycodemonkey.com if you have any questions post them in the comments and i'll do my best to answer them subscribe for more videos and i'll see you next time